Batman! No! Jared! It's your tomorrow! What the world? I'm in pain! I'm in pain! I'm in pain! I'm in pain! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fuck it, stop that shit. Hello! And welcome everyone oh. to Nerd Bubble Podcast for the first time, the last time, in three months, four all months. the in between times. It's up there. In Nerds times. In Nerds times. In Nerds. Um, my name is George. I'm wearing a luggage strap for some reason. Yeah, I, don't yeah, why? I wanted to. I don't know why I wanted that way. Do you know what it was? Because I ordered them from Amazon. But before I tell you why, you, you were stuck to the luggage. I was. I was in the box. What's in the box? Spoilers for seven. Connor. Hey, what have I done? Con Air. As Con Air. Think. Yes, that's getting a remake. He is affectionately known as Con Air because he looks nothing like Nicolas Cage. Oh, Damn it! I've got plenty of time, though, folks. I've got plenty of time. <laughs> I fucking love Nicholas Cage, but welcome. We talk about all things pop culture related, um, sometimes unrelated, sometimes. I think, yeah, because you've got a louder voice. Thank you. No, 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 I just I, I don't want it to be like up in my face. I just wanted to get that. <laughs> <laughs> really got it in my eye, it's all <laughs> raw. Bush. Uppercut. Yeah. A bush. Um, <clears throat> uh, yes, all pop culture things, movies, comics, never. TV shows, video games, sometimes. And Do- a lot of Doctor Who. A lot of who? Who? What? When? Oh, why? Stream? Streamies? Oh dear, I need to sneeze. Oh, they have fever. My name has already been said. Uh, but <laughs> yes, so um, welcome back. This is this is us. Now you can see us. Hopefully, the thing's not going to get done today. I've not d- I've not done the um, Ethernet cable yet. Um, I mean, it's tough and but I will. Um, um, I will hey. ask. I will ask our magic technical man to do that from the arcade. Yes, the cave. The cave in which we reside. Not with bats. Nothing. There's not no like bats. bats. And not like bats. nothing to do with Tony Stark. You're building it in a cave with a box of scraps. No, I ordered some new luggage, mm. bats, because I will be on holiday, which is why we are doing this now. And then we will be doing a double bill, because we won't be able to. We'll be able to record next week, so we'll record two of them. And then the second part will come out when I'm still not in the country. When he's in I- MIA. Um, yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah. with Mia. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this person? It's a secret agent. It's a pseudonym. Um, but that will obviously spoiler alert be related to the fact that Deadpool Wolverine comes out literally that week that that comes yeah. out. So uh, not yes, too many fucking like, bright guesses what it's going to be about. More spoilers. Um, more spoilers. It's going to be about New Mutants. Yeah, the New Mutants. The, it's the introduction the to the mutants, but whether or not they'll be new, be old. Yeah. Oh, well, one, of, one of the mutants is now old. He's, he's old. Ancient. He's ancient. He's in his 50s. I know. So old. He's been doing a quarter of his life as that character. For the last time, supposedly, Hugh. How old was Hugh Jackman when he became Wolverine? Oh, no idea. Um, okay. He's like 55. He's like 55 now. And it was like 99 that he got it. Yeah. So that's so 25 years ago. So that's. I'm just 25. Uh, is it 30? Was <clears throat> 30? Was he 30? Don't sound right. Why, was that, why did that take a fucking long? Don't sound right. No. I'd say 28, 27. That seems to be everyone's. Yes. That, was, that, that seems to be everyone. Everyone is 28, everyone's 27. 28, 27 at the beginning. Yeah. At the beginning. He's once 26, don't matter. Yeah. It's just reset. <laughs> because they get reset. Once you get once you do twenty six live jobs who once you get twenty six years you get reset and come back as year one season one season one, one. Season one. Oh, yeah. this chair it's finally unbroken fuck it I can lean back unbreakable but with a new budget will come a chair that's what we aim for like our, our goals are not subscriber based it's a no, new not chair. anymore anyway no we just want Whee! a new chair this has been fucking broken for ages I mean I did get them ten pounds on marketplace like three years ago <clears throat> you can be glad of that well done Facebook. Except you, Zuckerberg. Fuck you. Um, yeah. I don't actually have my phone on me, so I don't know what we're talking about. Shall I go grab it? Have you got anything you need to talk about? <laughs> need me no, to talk about? Any, like... I mean, I was going to just... Well, we discussed it off camera, but I guess while you're doing it, I'll about your phone. Oh, you could talk about the um the trailers that we saw, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Or what else? 
Oh no, we can send it to the end because it's in the name. <gasps> we can finish big. We can. Yeah, we can finish big. Yeah. You yeah, talk we'll about. Let you, we'll let you guys figure out what you, that means. You talk about um, <clears throat> gladiators. I just want to get my phone. TV. What should I tell you? Wait to get out of here, ready? <laughs> Had a sound of it. Um. Yeah. So George saw one trailer this week. I saw the other one. Um. So I guess the two big things we're going to be talking about. Or the first one anyway will be the second trailer. Sorry, not the second trailer. The first trailer for Gladiator Two. Now, a movie just like Hugh Jackman has been twenty-four years overdue. Are we looking forward to Gladiator Two, George? Or do we not just give a single flying flip about it? I mean, I'll watch it. Are we glad that we're going to see it, or are, are we, we just like, are we Gladiator? Yeah, are we glad? Are we glad Gladiator? gladiator? Or... Okay, so you know, um, so you know, um, our universal ranking system. No idea. Is is spum spum spumless or yeah. spumtastic? Yeah, spumtastic or spumless? Yes. Maybe we do a Mr. Sunday movies and accidentally just like glad? do a new one. We're either gladiator <laughs> or madiator. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I like that. I like that idea. So yeah, whatever we're talking about, we've got to come up with a pun to the. Yeah. Have you Have you seen OG Gladiator? Yes. I haven't seen it in fucking years. Same thing. I was glad when I watched it. It's, it's, they re. Released it in 4K now, haven't they? Because yeah, it's one of those films that was out of print for a while. It's like um, <clears throat> 28 days and weeks later. later. Yeah, it was one of the earliest movies that was gone, and then the 4K came out. As far as I'm aware, the 4K ain't out of print. Going out of print. It's been out for a while. It's been out for a while, the 4K. I think I've even got it in the cupboard somewhere. Mess of a shelf at home. But, um, we'll have to watch it for when the new one comes out. Oh, and then we can do Gladiator and Madiator. Yeah. Are we glad or mad? I, I reckon one of us will be glad and one of us will be mad. Uh, I reckon figure out which one who which one it is. Well, nowadays it could be any of us. No, we're so unpredictable. Normally, normally, normally you're like so chill about stuff, but now you get angrier more. So now yeah, like, I'm I'm positive about my media and escapism, and then and then, <laughs> then, there's, and then these days I'm the bed. I'm picturing these days. Don't I mean, I'm, I'm I'm gladiator that it's it's a thing that. Um, Are you gladiator that it's taken so long and it's finally come out? Because I feel like this is in a project that Mr. Ridley has wanted to do for way, way, way too long. I don't remember the last Ridley Scott film I enjoyed. <laughs> um, the last year, 2021. Like... Go and see the last year. Yeah, you did. You did rant. I, rant I, I did. the last year. I rant. want there to be more duels. Yeah, not the last. You should. I, it should have been the first duel. It should have been the first duel. But now we fucked. The second one. The second last. The one. the penultimate duel. Yeah, the, the penultimate, penultimate duel. duel. I like it. Yeah, and the trifecta duel. Um. Yeah. I would say that, uh, blah, 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 blah. um, like I watch it, like we're in this weird sort of, <clears throat> uh, because nostalgia comes, so it's always 30 years backwards that you, you're fond of. So yes. we're obviously full on into, <laughs> excuse me, we're full on into the, you know, 90s and now early 2000s thing of like, yeah. hey, remember when this was a thing? And we've got a lot of legacy sequels anyway, mm. especially over the last few years, like Top Gun Maverick, um, this. Uh, there was another one. There was another sort of like. Oh, I was like, what you talking about? I, I mean, like Ghostbusters. Frozen and no, oh, Frozen by Afterlife. Afterlife. Yeah. Afterlife. In terms of it being an actual sequel to the original stuff, we're not. We're, nowadays, we're getting Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. We're getting that. There's there's another. There's there's a, there's a few. Yeah, that have Twisters. Been... Twisters. Yes. Twisters is one. Yeah. Three. And it's got Glenn Powell in it, so it'll be fine. Yeah, man. I think Glenn Powell is in every single sequel, like legacy sequel. Will he power for it, or will he, will he just be a drow for or it? Will, yeah. Powell drow. Powell or drow. <laughs> Twister <laughs> or twist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Twister or twist. <laughs> yeah. Pasty sheet. Not Mr. Sunday movies. <laughs> much, much lower on the economic. Punty sheep. That's our new Punty sheep. Punty sheep, yes. I'm shouting puns at each other. I, mean, I, watch, I will watch Gladiator 2. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those ones I would want to watch in cinema. Oh, for sure. At least in IMAX. Hmm. Yeah, it might I, be I wouldn't 4DX that. Because no. that'd just be depressing. Just getting beaten up every 10 minutes. And just sway. Get enough of that at home. <laughs> <laughs> Often without consent. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> the whole link. Mm, shame, shame, shame. Joseph Quinn looks like Cersei Lannister in the trailer. I didn't even recognise him. And even Who's from... the other one? Who's the one that looks like uh, Joseph? Uh, Who's, so there's Joseph, Joseph Quinn. Quinn. There's Joseph Quinn, and then there's someone else who looks like they're yeah. related to Joseph. Joseph <laughs> Quinn. Uh, jo Josette Quinn? No, I, I have no idea. Also, do you know what I've just noticed? What? That the um, <clears throat> that this is not plugged in 
Oh, so no one can hear us. No, they can hear it through that. So we'll have to sort of all of a sudden there'll be a big spike. Spike. That's turn down, lads. Turn down for what? Not not um twenty three Jump Street. Oh, we'll have to fucking check that and see what that sounds like. Default, yeah, yeah. So it must have been. Let's shout into that a minute. Ah! Oh, there it was. Sorry. <laughs> they just landed going, ah, for no reason. Ah! What was we saying before? Fuck, you are know. we glad or That's going to be choppy as fuck in the edit. Are we mad or glad about Gladiator 2? Are we and, mad and, or Gladiator And Pedro Pascal, no, Pedro Pascal, Joseph Quinn and his twin, Josette Quinn? Josette or? Quinn. Um, yeah. Yes, I'll see it. Are they more than one person? Are they the two same people? Person? <laughs> six people. Are they fantastic? Six people playing a different. So one plays the head, one plays the arms, oh, one plays the legs, the feet, and then the torso of someone else. Four people. But meshed no, I'll in see that. Quinn. I mean, it's the best trailer that I've seen in the last <clears throat> ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't yeah. know. I'm just mate. Denzel Washington being in it is fucking amazing. It's legendary. We're glad about that. I'm fucking so glad. Fucking glad about that. Glad That's about amazing. That. Um, I don't think I'd see him in something like that. Oh, of that quality he, and caliber. Has he worked with Ridley Scott before? I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. Yes. I can't think of what though. But yes, I'll, I'll feel confident saying yes. You check that. <clears throat> check back to me, darling boy. I can't believe we didn't fucking have the microphone plugged in. That is so us. But luckily, hopefully that picked it up. If not, we're just gonna fucking shoot ourselves. You guys in the comments before this comes out on YouTube, you can somehow predict it and point it out in advance. Hopefully. We'll get to that point. You guys can point out our mistake before we do. Yay! <coughs> um, we did see another trailer, but it was... Uh, yeah? It, it, it leads us into our surprise topic, because, well... Before, Not gonna, my surprise topic, but This yeah. is for you. I've, I've got a surprise for you. This is a new thing I'm trying. Um, so, surprise, we are going to, between us, definitively rank oh, right. oh. all of the MCU Disney Plus shows. Oh, fine. Like on the spot right now. On the on the spot. I mean, it'd be a bit of a you know pseudo discussion. That would be the main yeah. thing, and then we'll end. Are with, we always with, a pseudo discussion? We'll end with the large ending instead of the, the large instead, ending instead of the big. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the real ending. Yes. There's always a twist. Um. So we got a trailer for <clears throat> Agatha House of Harkness. Oh, all along. It's all oh, along. along. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forget that. Well, it was Coven of Chaos, Stark Cold Diaries, Diaries of a Secret Cool Witch, um, something, something else. It was basically all the four episodes, all the, the four bitch, titles the were bitch episodes. And, and wardrobe. Yeah, the bitch in the wardrobe, Dark Cold Diaries, Coven of Chaos. I don't know, my, my Life with Agatha, or whatever it was called. There was like My Life is a Weapon. Names. Yeah, My Life is a Weapon. Um, Agatha and I. No, but Agatha all along had a trailer, well, about a week ago by the time this comes out. Um, and uh, I think it was okay. I'm not like gladiator. I'm not mad or glad about it yet. What what, what could be the pun about Agatha? Are we Ag Agatha or Nah? Nah, Agatha, Nah, Agatha, Agatha, Agatha. Um, I'm kind of in the middle. By the time we watch One Division, like the week before episode one and two, because two episode premiere in 2024, folks. That seems to be everything this year. Um, you know, I'll be hyped by the time it comes out. It looks better than, you know, mildly anticipating. She's but like, will it actually lead into anything? Probably not. She's under her spell. Yes. I put a spell on you. <clears throat> um. So it's her bleeding through and trying to break out of Wanda's spell. She put her in, in the town. Is Wanda still going to be alive and show up in it? Fuck knows. <laughs> no, yeah, TBA. TVA? But do dish? No, who knows? Uh, Episode 8. Post credit scene or episode seven's post credit scene will be the return of Elizabeth Olsen. I'm calling it now. Yeah. Mm. You should probably move. And she's playing Cyclops. <laughs> -na 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 -na. That's a weird image. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's weird, very weird. I don't know. It starts off looking all police, police procedural. <clears throat> it does. And then, like, all replies shows up. Sure, and you're going gonna, gonna to be, um, you know. Solving cases, and then it's like, now you got to break out of that witch's spell, and it's like, remember, oh. remember, do you remember who you are? Yeah. Remember. Um. So yeah, because of the release of that, hmm. I wanted to 
feel nostalgic for Disney Plus. Yeah, because it feels like such a long all, time ago since we watched you know them. It, it launched all those years ago in yeah, 2021. Yeah, over here. Yeah, exactly. No, 2020 over here. It was locked. It was end of 2019 in America, and then we got and then 2020. and yeah. 2020 for the fucking. Um, Mandalorian. Mandalorian. <clears throat> but it was it was locked down as soon as we locked down here in the UK because of COVID. Disney Plus launched and it was a hell of a fucking marketing strategy, but it worked. <laughs> it was a good spike that. So month. I'm going to get the list up <clears throat> of the Disney Plus shows. Well, I know oh, how. Gary Lineker. I know how we're bookending it. Um, well, I know how I'm bookending my list anyway. Well, well, yeah. Disney yeah. Plus. Do you want to go? Do you want to rank them or do you want to go through them and sit, like you know? Say some positive stuff about it because that might oh, be we, 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 <laughs> no, we can do verses. No, we're going in chronological order. Verses. It'll be like, yeah, verses. Beat each other up and say which one's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Films, yeah. animated series, uh, X Men Evolution. What if? If only Modoc was included in this. I just want, I just want. Oh, fuck off. Let's do television. So here we go. This will do. Is it oh, we... All right, so we can just look from here. Yeah. But this is the live action stuff. So <clears throat> obviously for the night man, protector of the day man. We'll include them. Yeah, of course we we'll have to include them. Yeah. Um, the Daily Bugle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> Unscripted. No. I mean that doesn't really count. We can. No. We chat. can. We can gloss over a uh, big old gloss. Yeah. Um, and then I guess animation we can do. Oh, yeah, we can do a big phone drop. Oh, I've been shot. <laughs> Back. Yeah, spoiler alert. Uh, X Men '97. The animation range is going to kick off. Counts. Yeah, do, well, you can at the minute. Um, yeah. All right. Do you know what I'm going to do instead? I need oh. to wake up. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna <laughs> <this>. <laughs> we'll just do Disney. We'll just. Yeah. All right. We'll do Disney Plus. You read them out to me, and I'm going to write them down. Try and do it in order. Okay, literally live, purely live action. We'll forget X Men '97 because without spoiling no, it, that's no, the best one. No, we'll do every, we'll do everything. So, All right, fine. So, Wonder Vision, uh, TV. So, Wonder Vision. Shit. Um, I'm not doing that. Yet. I'm just writing this no, down, man. and we'll go through it. Falcon, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And the Winter Soldier, Loki. Yeah, Loki. Lokis. Loki, Loki is. Um, uh, what if? Yeah, what if? Hawkeye. Uh, Hawkeye, yeah. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. <clears throat> uh, she Hulk. She Hulk. Guardians to uh, Guardians Holiday Special. Uh, G O T G cool. holiday. Uh, werewolf by night. Werewolf night. <laughs> um, I thought there was another one in twenty twenty two. What the hell was there? Moonlight. 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 Dancing in the moonlight. She Hulk. Miss, Miss Marvel. Marvel. Damn. Wow. Yeah, Miss Marvel. Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh, Kamala oh, Khan. fuck off, select all, you prick. Kamala Khan. Uh, Ms. Marvel. Uh, Echo. 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 She Echo. Helped. Fucking secret invasion. Oh, boy. What a secret that was. Secret invasion. It was so secret, didn't you almost want to bring it up? <laughs> we'll go through them. Like, I reckon we'll go through them and then say nice stuff about them. Lovely, lovely because stuff. Because I, I can't, I, you know, secret invasion is the worst, obviously. Uh, Secret Invasion, Echo. Maybe, maybe it's that's the twist. Maybe it's the best one because we didn't want to mention it because it's in maybe. the name. Maybe. Um, I don't know who agrees with that, but let us know in the comments. That's Disney Plus. Disney Plus and Hulu, that's Disney Plus. Um, they're upcoming, so we don't know. No. Uh, Wonder Man, that's going to be maybe third best. Um, TVA, TVA, third thing here. Third thing here. Ice, Ice, Baby, Television, Specials, Pilots, and Switches. Animated, right. X-Men 97. X Men ninety seven. Is that gone? Oh, it's speaking. No, I've not watched. It's Hero six. What if um? Yeah, hit monkey. Hit hey, monkey got renewed. X Men ninety seven. Oh. I mean, yeah, that's a kind of it. But then that's the thing. If we do this list in the year, then again, we've got your friendly neighborhood Spider Man. We'll have Eyes of Wakanda and Marvel Zombies. Zombies. Marvel Zombies. Oh, 
Well, I think that's it, right? Must be. Oh, really must be. Know, we really care. Not enough. Look, Hugh Jackman. Fabulous. Marvel wants to keep spoilers offline. Well, thank God for that. Keep spoilers offline and that's all they've done. Thank goodness for that. Okay, right. <clears throat> so we'll go through them. So how many have we got? Like 12? Uh, Ish, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13? So hmm. 11 series, two um, specials, special presentations. Yeah. And um, some of these shows. How special are they, you know? Some of these shows have more than one season. So yeah, Loki, we'll talk out. about Lu Loki. We'll talk Loki. about Loki, Loki season one, Loki, Loki. Loki season two, and then like as a whole, yeah. Mm. And then we'll give like our overview of it. Um, do bit by bit. That will be a thing. That'll take up some time. And then we'll talk about um, where we're going in September. Turn on low power mode. Yeah, because too much data on that. Too much. List. Too much hot stuff. So <laughs> we'll start at the beginning. Yes, 2021 mm. madness. No. 2020 the year before no first year without marvel yeah it was 2020 it was january well, it was january 2021 is... 2020 was the first year since 2009 without no marvel content 2009 yeah january 15th 2021 bloody hell because i remember being off that day and celebrating wow yeah. The fact that you also read that from like as soon as the page loaded up no, very, very impressive. the dates are up here <laughs> I know oh, these things. I'm sorry, Charles. Oh, I'm so sorry, Charles. Okay, um, one yeah. division. We like you say, 2020. We had no Marvel, and it was kind <clears> of <throat> after Endgame. It was like a nice sort of like reset, so that then they could have bought fucking anything out. And the, the it. out in, in... They could have bought fucking Miss Marvel out, and we probably would have all watched it and really enjoyed it. But uh, um, we got one division. Mm. A nine-part series starting with it started off the fucking two-episode premiere bullshit. It did. No, most of the time I don't think it's bullshit. I mean, we can divert. How do you guys so feel about twenty twenty-four two episodes premiere? Because I feel like everything left, right, and center, whether it's Marvel, like everything is. All right, I want episodes. a good a, a good uh, example of a two-episode premiere and a bad one. A uh, good one is I'd say One Division works because it gets mm. the two black and white episodes out of the way because it's like the audience. Has, <laughs> okay, no. The audience hasn't got fucking you know. <laughs> At the attention fucking restraint to fucking sit through these like week by week if they oh is it just in black and white oh, oh yeah what's all this about but um it, on the other hand well sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't like I think with Doctor Who's most recent season they paired up a better episode with the start oh, episode so, so yeah, maybe yeah. that kind of saved it but you know on the whole if it's week by week week by week it if it's all the season at once it's all the season at once we can't control that. I think the the genuine sign of a two episode premiere is we're not really um, thinking it's going to do well, so and people won't retain for the next week. So maybe <clears> we'll put <throat> two episodes out. So then the cliffhanger, like you say, normally the second episode cliffhanger is oh, but then oh my god, we is. never saw this coming. Right at the time, one division for me was like not because that's later on in the season when we get to a certain ending, and it was like a. <gasps> proper jaw drop moment but that's midway through this the is season. one of my favorite you know, television you know. shows not oh, straight up. They on streaming every, every time every time it is yeah one of my favorite marvel ones because it's so I mean, different and bonkers like it's yeah. you know it's the sitcom element but it's all like oh what one the fuck's happening around this and you can't thing. help wherever you feel about black and white you can't help but be glued to what's going on you want to know what's going on yes i just keep checking so that i've not fucked it up yes um i really enjoyed this i think it was nice that you know, Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen got the chance to just fucking got shine. The spotlight. Yeah. It got us going, oh my God, this is the origin of the Scarlet Witch. Essentially, this is the end of her origin the story. Real. Yeah, the and real it links origin. in with maybe she had these powers the whole time. It was Wanda all along. Dun, 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 dun. Until it wasn't. But yeah, man, it's, it's great. I think it, <clears> it, it's... A lot of the early ones, you will see the hamperedness from COVID in terms of we were already filming this, and then the restrictions come in, so we kind of lost an episode. Like yeah. we, you know, we it was meant to be ten. We lost, the, you know, a fight with the with um, Agatha's cat at the end, Damn sort it. of thing. But, Cats um, and dogs in live action. Damn, we missed that. But are they nail the um, the sitcom element and the different generational ones they do in terms of like because each episode is kind of like a tribute to the decades, like you say, fifties, sixties until they show episode. Five is the ninth, isn't it? The Halloween one is the ninth. Yeah, well, there's I think there's an episode with like three or four. No, episode four is like we are now interrupt this broadcast and it's what's happening outside. Yeah, 
you have a break in the but, real world. But I really, I re- like we got Kat Dennings back. We mm. got Jimmy Chu as Randall Park. Ran- Randall Park. Randall Jimmy Chu. with Jimmy. the magic card. Park. Fucking wrong way around. Yes. Yeah. Um, I want to see like an X Files sitcom, like everyone else did. I, yeah, like, man. It spawned a spin-off, which we're getting in a um, month. But yeah, we'll no, we get a couple of months from now. A couple of months from now. Yeah, we're getting the hell in the Halloween season. We're getting Agatha all along. Um, mm. As much as that song was good and that character was really good, means to death. Doing a spin-off three years later, as we'll come to, <laughs> is probably not going to be the best way of marketing. Had it been sort of more like. Um, well, it's similar for Echo, but Echo was obviously nearer because it was at the end of 2021 for Hawkeye and then 2023 for Echo. So it kind of... It did kind of... Was it 23 roll. or 24? I, I don't feel know. like it was January. I think you leave First it... First week. Maybe. I think you leave it too long, then it's kind of like a, you're not capitalising on it. No. It's sort of like... Um, Vision Quest. A project in the future which doesn't have an official date, and I mean, that might not be the title, but... The same, yeah, we'll have the that. same conversation when that comes up. Like, why that, have no. they led that way too long? But no, on on the on the whole, I mean, it's one of the Disney Plus releases that I own, mm. and I and I, own, I have the privilege of owning. I know I own all of them apart from Mandalorian season one. Please help me. Um, like I've got Andor, and I haven't even fucking watched it. It's like oh. commitment, but it's so good. Um, commitment. I love One Division. I really have. A, it's one of those ones where it's like it might not be because I like the shows for different reasons. I think there's some that do like that push <clears> it more and do different things. There's some that feel more like a comfort blanket, which can also be good in terms of they don't do a lot new with the genre or with the style. But sometimes you don't want a big, you know, complicated thing. You want a simpler thing. But this was just bonkers. We kind of didn't know where it was going. We had twists and turns. We had an X Men fake out. Like we had Evan ah. Peters back. Yeah, that really broke the internet. Ralph Boner. Um, uh, one of the best and worst things. And yeah. Mephisto. Remember when it was always Mephisto every week? I know. And it was going to be Agatha's cat as well. Yeah. That was going to be Mephisto. But The devil's always in the sign. The devil's in the detail. Mm. But um, if I had to give it an arbitrary rating, I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. Because it's definitely mm. like towards a higher 8, but it's not quite a 9. But I... But yeah, see, like I said, we'll come back. Um, yes, eight since far from home. I I want to say eight point five, even though we're not doing half. High anymore. eight. It's yeah, a high it's eight. Very high eight. So close to a nine. But it was so much mm. fun. Falcon and the Winter Soldier is where I kind <laughs> of. <laughs> now I've s- I've said before, like you know, I've never been a big fan of Sam Wilson. I love Sam as Falcon. Falcon. Yeah. I think the best he was used prior to this. Uh, series was the Winter, um, Soldier. The Winter Soldier, his introduction because he's useful to the plot, he's good, and after that, it's just I'm I follow I'm Steve, Steve's best I'm Steve's friend. best friend, I'm not a stalker, I'm Steve's best friend. What are you doing here, Sam? I'm Steve's best friend. Look at me, I can fly. But I love Anthony Mackie as a person, he's wonderful. Um, he's wonderful, and I've had the most fun with this because it was oh, like after the snap, like the you know, the Avengers don't really get paid, what's he gonna do? <laughs> They're unemployed. We meet um Joaquin Torres. Yeah, Joaquin Torres. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the new Falcon, presumably. Falcon. And we're getting. Know? We got. We this went down so well for a lot of people that <clears throat> we're getting a fourth Captain America film, Yay! which I think, which I think is what um the character of Sam Wilson and the actor of Anthony Mackie deserve. Like, don't up. you can't become Captain America and then just have a TV show, you know? No, you can't side because yeah. the you white the white guy character. got three movies. So, you know, Anthony Mackie should get at least a trilogy. A trilogy. Um, and have oh, I can't wait to see him as Cap now that it's yeah, finally man. all that because it was the inner struggle of like, does he, doesn't he? He gives it to the government. And what did the government do? Straight away, they go out and pick another fucking white guy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and look what all the shit that went down. And sorry, fucking, mm. what's his name? Oh my God. Dude, what's Sebastian? Sebastian Stan. 
Sebastian Stan, the fabulous yeah. Mark Hamill look like himself. Yeah, I know. Um, Mark Hamill 2.0. Their banter stuff is great, and it's the kind of the grounded force of it. You get a nice appearance from Rhodey, which in rex- retrospect from a recent season mm. of a show makes it completely, you know, fucking, you know, doesn't weird. work now, really. Yeah, very weird, actually. Yes, now you mentioned it. Yeah, um, very weird. What's his name? Wyatt Russell. Wyatt Russell. Kurt Russell Jr. Yeah, Kurt Russell's Russell son. Yeah. Lives. This performance is his. Like, like his turn as John the villain Walker. as John Walker, the US, US agent. agent. It's fucking amazing. Mm, the heel turn. Um, the only thing that I don't like is the um. It's so, the heel turn. So, Erin Kellyman portrays um the leader of the Flag Smashers. I can't think of a name. Which the is show. the Flag Smasher character, nicely appropriated into more of a like sort of terrorist cell cult thing but it's like oh like she has points of view that actually do make sense in terms of like people and like because the whole some of them the more earth-based stuff has the uh, more political issue of you know the population and the migration and stuff like that you know mirroring the real world in terms of like a lot of people that are you know forced to flee their homeland for stuff that they can't help um and now having nowhere to live in terms of you know the allegory of you know all these people were gone so, you know, people moved on into like, you know, houses and things like that. And now all these people are back and we've got, you know, a vast population again that we've got to kind of, you know, so wow. So um I think that's a nice way to look at it. Fucking Daniel Brule as full on Baron, Baron Zemo. Zemo. Baron dance dance revolution Zemo. Fucking yeah, amazing. Baron going viral Zemo. Yeah. I want him back in like another capacity in like a film. I think in like a Black Panther sequel, that would be like he would be good. Because he could be like the claw replacement. He could be the in new terms claw. of the fun, he like the can be just like you know, this is me just taking it large and just having fun with it. I like the, the expansion Malachi turning up as well, briefly at the end. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like the expansion of Emily Van Camp's character of Sharon Carter before it gets to a certain angle where it did kind of feel a bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. even though it's a bit obvious. Oh, she's the power broker. Mm, I've got the power. But then also it does the you know the very. Fun or not fun for anyone, really, uh-huh. but the, alleg- the allegory of the fact that you know, if you're a powerful person that's white, you can just fail upwards back into the government. Hopefully, is she gonna be a force in um, Pockets America Brave New World? I think she is. Neither is Sebastian Stan. That's the biggest shame. That's that a Bucky's crime. Not in it. No, that is a crime. But I hope Bucky, but then Bucky's gonna be in, um, you know, the fucking, um, the, the, yeah. Well, what is it? Agents Thunderbolts. Thunder. He's in Thunderbolts. He is the Thunderbolt. He's the, he's the one carrying the boat. He's the captain of the Thunderbolt. I, he's Captain Thunderbolt. Captain Thunderbolt. Yes, from Andor. But um, yeah. yeah, um, love those two together. Love that. But this is the one that felt like a. Here's the movie that we filmed, and we go cut and it up into six chop, episodes. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah, chopped to shit. <laughs> but it's still, it's still, you know, it's it is the most fun I've had with the character. I just wish it was sort of done a bit better because that's the mistake that they made early on in terms of we're just going to put all the movie guys in charge of TV. And now you've, you know, they've leaned back more into, you know, executive producers, showrunners, and like writers' rooms. Quality over quantity. Dividing mm. it back into so it's Marvel television is the heading of like the Disney Plus that's stuff. It, so yeah. it can still fit into the overarching MCU. And you don't whole. have to do your homework. You don't have to go into every series some watching of this and this and this, and then you have to watch that. With some of them, yeah, which I which I like. I do mm. like that, but also it's like um yeah, some of it you will have to because inevitably it will all lead in when you know you've had a Captain America series that will you know there'd be a film appropriately then lead into the Brave. You had you had yeah. Miss Marvel lead into the Marvels. Mm. So, you know, it's like, yeah. it's, it's kind of, it will it come and go. As long as now that it's headed up as more of like making TV and not just let's make something of movie quality and just say it's a series. Um, yeah, because some of them did suffer like that. So, um, but yeah, this is one of the. Only, I think it's one of the few that I think suffers from the early. We're not really knowing what we're doing without knowing television the formula and the format. Yeah, yeah, it's one big experiment, and it's like we just keep saying it's a movie that was just awkwardly cut enough. I mean, it's presentable, but it's just it's. We get fucking Isaiah Bradley as well, and that's such a powerful, powerful, especially in the state the world was in. I mean, it still is in, but in terms of all the recent stuff that had happened, while you know completely con- like coincidentally to the the series being made in terms of the real world it was just like wow this is a monumental speaking, speaking a story that it should definitely need speaking as people that are you know cis white males you know 
I want more representation of people. Like, fucking, it's not part of my life. I want to know about it. And, like, you know, you get that into the media so that then more people are talking about this kind of stuff. It's why I think I, you know, respect the earlier um, Marvel Netflix stuff because Jessica Jones was predominantly like a more female based writing team and production team kind of thing. You know, uh, Luke Cage was more people of color and things like that working in front of and behind the camera. So that was important in terms of the, um, the, the um representation and the story that come from that and iron fist was just full of people that couldn't do kung fu and were finn jones but ah uh, he'll be back he'll be back yeah one no day he'll come back um but i would say i like there's some really great moments in this hmm. but i think the highest i would be willing to go is a seven and even that i think it's a more of a high a low seven. it's a low yeah. seven or a high six so I'd say I'd sp I'd split my difference ooh and say seven. I'm gonna say six. So it yeah, it's about enough, that. It the earn, average it's like six and a half. It doesn't so earn it enough stars. <laughs> it's a yeah, show it, because for what it does and the cast it has, it's like oh, yeah, it should be a lot amazing. higher. It really should have been higher. Like, it should have been amazing. There was feelings of amazingness in it. Like you say, there's brief moments. There's very good things that I can picture and I it. want to watch again, and come. By the time like Captain America falls out, like February 2025, at the minute, um, no doubts. Yeah, you know, I'm just deleting. I will them. score I'm it more positively. As we're talking about, I'm deleting them. Yeah, for good riddance. So now we've Check got out our well, our third show, but um, yeah, it's the first that has that's had that has more breath. That has two hearts. But, yeah, if you will, it's the first of an example that has two seasons. Even though I think what if season two came out before Loki, but I don't fucking know. I don't really care because uh, what... I still not finished what if season two. I think it's fun because yeah. we talk about that next. Um, uh, Loki, Loki is up there with um, one of if not what, my favorite. What a terrible watch. concept! They're bringing back a dead character and making a show about him. Why on earth would they do that, George? Why would they do that? Two words for you. Loki does. Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. That's Branding. the thing. Is, Tom Tom Hiddleston is arguably one of the you know, one of the senior stars of the MCU, like in terms of like he's oh, I'd say never cheer. He's mm. most people's favorite favorite villain. He's had a whole redemption arc and stuff like that. He was then, you know, his death at the hands of Thanos was the, you know, the end of his redemption in terms tragic. of trying to, you know, truly, truly tragic. Trying to save Thor. Mm. Like he always is. Oh, he's so treacherous. Though. He jumps out and went, he's dead me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love Tom Hiddleston. I've loved him as this character. Loki, in, Loki himself has kind of be, like it had become the whole thing of like, oh, but you can't trust him. But I think the series, like it, like <clears throat> it glosses over all of that because this is him from the alternate Endgame timeline where he steals the Tesseract and escapes in 2012. So he's had none of that redemption except he gets to see how his life would have played out because this of the, is your life. The TVA, the introduction of that. The introduction of a um, fabulous performance from a uh, very problematic actor now uh, in terms of, you know, we'll have to talk about um, Kang and his many variants uh, in yeah, some form. But obviously, yeah. um, it's, yeah. it's just a shame in retrospect, but I can still like it's more because the fact that the performance was so fucking. Oh, so something strong. else. Monumental. But, like, yeah, we get Owen Wilson. We get wow. Richard e. Grant. Wow. We get an alligator. Wow. We get. The now? guys who played uh, both boastful Loki and Kid Loki, like we yeah. get that whole thing. We get Sophie, Sophia Di Marti Martino, Marte, Marti Ma Martino, Sophia Ma Martino. Di Martino, Martino, yeah. Martino. Martino. Yeah, Sophie fucking butchered her name, but yeah. Sorry, love. Sorry, Sophie. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Sophie. She was, she was fucking. She was amazing. She was wonderful. More so in season one because they knew what they wanted yes. to do. Yeah, yeah. I think it. I yes. think season one is the better of the two. Ultimately, yeah, it's still a very good and high quality show. I'd say season one is like a nine, season two yeah. is like an eight. Yeah, but the ending for season two, in terms of the the loop, that the might be the end, that might be the mm. that might be the end of it. Mm. I like where it leaves off. Or is it the beginning? Exactly. No, we don't know. Um, I had such fun with that, and it was oh, is he gonna get back to the Avengers? I hope not. Kiki Kwan, though, best thing of season two. Yes, short round. Has been seen back for a into long the, time. more into the public spotlight. Yeah. Um oh, love him. Love, Keith love him. Um but no, very good. Very like um it's very sort of it's like, oh, this is just gonna be like Doctor Who, because it's a British mm. guy just dancing Going through like through space time, time and mm. things like that. But it's much British. more than that, and it's like the vainness of falling in love with himself 
Yeah, very um, egotistical, but yeah, not Loki, in a fucked up way. Loki's place in the universe, which finally comes to fruition in terms of the fact that he's the he is possibly the time stone. He is the one that holds mm. uh, the timeline together with glorious yeah. purpose. Oh, yeah, nice. I think it's some of Tom Hiddleston's best work. The fact that he's a producer in it as well, like he's got a foothold in it because he cares so much about the character at this point. He absolutely did, yeah. And as much as I hope that we see him again, <clears throat> I'm also not mad if this is the end. No, because like, we've had so much um, Hiddleston Loki, and like it's just there's some really magical shit in this. And like, pun, pun kind of intended, but no, yeah, yeah, it's absolutely. a lot of fun. It it, it goes magic, magic it goes stuff. along one route of the police procedural thing of like Loki's got to help the TVA in order to save himself, but he's tracking himself. Is <laughs> he's stopping himself? Introduce more of the wider aspects of the multiverse and variants and things mm. like that. The fact that the TVA obviously will play a role in the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine. How film. big Ryan Reynolds will probably be the judge of that. Will we see Owen Wilson or Tom Hiddleston? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no, because we've other characters maybe. in the surrogate. Maybe post credit scene. Yeah. Maybe he'll be. Well, we've something. seen, um, you know, the characters of Loki in a post credit scene for um, Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, so we can get something. Shall we talk about the um, evil um, person <laughs> in the room in terms of the fact that we have to talk about. Jonathan Majors' portrayal of He Who Remains. Mm, um, he Who Did who Remain, a, slash Linger, Vic, slash No More. Uh, Victor Timely. Is there mm. any other variants that we see of him? Because there's, the, there's, there's a Kang statue when the whole yeah. time thing, because it's Kang. Who's assumed to be like the comic Kang, like the proper Kang Kang of all Kangs. The proper Kang Kang. Kang um, Tastic Kang, Kang, Kang Chorus Line. Yeah. Maybe the Kang from Quantumania. The Kang Conger. Yeah. Um, but. It goes without saying that while Jonathan Majors himself now, you know, has gone on to do horrendous things, and as far as I know, he was charged and then that yeah. sort of thing. But um, I think he is under arrest. I think he's been he's incarcerated. He is that he's been. I feel like he's been sentenced. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's been. Yeah. Sorry. No. I, I mean, as far as I'm aware, I don't think he is. Jonathan Majors. You can talk about Kang's performance. Um, Kang, before we found out who he really was, um, was just magical, especially as he remains. Just what a like, I'm going back to the season one ending or finale, but what a dramatic reveal! Where, of course, the mystery of the TVA, it not being what you thought it was, similar to a WandaVision type effect of oh, we think it's gonna go this way, oh, now it isn't, now it's gonna go this way, and then when you get to the reveal of a man eating an apple sitting in a chair in like, well, not even a throne room, it's like a library. Like again, it, you you can't go you can't go back to how do you yeah you know, you're sentenced. How did you feel about episode six when it was just revealed when it happened when it happened? You're like, like he's eating. A, I was like, oh fuck! So this is where we go. So he's like the kindest uh, version of the Kang character, he who remains. And then yeah. like I don't know what's going to happen beyond this bit. And then he dies. And then yeah, we cross the threshold. We cross the threshold, and I, and it's so it's. That stuff, the fact that that season comes down to three people just having yeah. a di dialogue, having a in conversation, a room. yeah, beautiful conversation, and it's some of the best stuff. And like Kate Heron, like you know the work she done, it's why you know she's hopefully getting more widely recognised. She ended up doing Doctor Who. She did a um, she because she wrote and directed Loki. Yes, well, she did for season one. Season I don't think she did yeah, season she two. Season two, which was at the right shape. But then she also did Sex what? Education. It also feels like her voice is lost a little bit. In, in that second season, yeah, maybe she was one of the key things in what worked with Loki. And to Kate, and look at us, Google NC, NC, or, or, or Microsoft binging, spoiler plugged by Microsoft, sponsor us. Um, she directed and executive produced the first season of Loki. She did sex education, uh, The Sims. It was announced that Heron and Ryan Redman would be uh, writing episode Doctor Who, which they did. Uh, she'll be directing things on Last of Us. Oh. And it's your director film based on The Sims. Wow. Did not know that. It's pretty cool. It hasn't got release date, but fair enough. Sex Education. Four, oh, only four episodes. Oh. Or season one. I think season one is, I think that's season one, 2019. Yeah. I was surprised Richard E. Grant wasn't in Sex Education, though, because he was in the mm. and she wrote him into Doctor Who. He would have had so many great scenes with Gillian Anderson. He that would have been, been great. He would have been, instead of Jason Isaacs, he would have been yeah. um, like Alistair Beatrice, yeah. brother. Oh, Mr. God. God. Yeah, Mr. God. Groff. Richard E. Groff. Richard E. Groff. Um, Richard E. Walken. I would say this what is a high nine 
nine. And I think it's just the slight dip in quality that stops in season two that stops it from being a like ten. Perfection. Mm. Yeah. I have I've got so much. This fucking... show did have glorious purpose. Will or not, whether or not that will continue to be. It started in it and got back to it. There was it was just some of the thing. it was the fact that they were kind of almost I hate to say it, they were kind of almost stuck with Sylvie as a character in terms of Lady yeah. Loki. Like they were even working at McDonald's. Shout out to McDonald's, but like, yeah, not even that. Like, like it, get rid of her. It, it was like they had her and they didn't know what to do with her because they obviously also you didn't have your person writing it, she'd gone off to do um, more stuff because God, she deserved it from that first season. So um, yeah, that's a hard one because like Sophia Dumartino has not been given a lot in season two. I feel like it was just kind of a, and she's also a here convenient. kind of moments. Yeah. Whereas in season one, when they let them shine like together, like they are some of the best stuff. And I like that it's her that crosses the threshold and, you know, brings about the end of um, He Who Remains and things like that. I think that's quite um and the end of things yet to come slash have already happened slash will happen never again. happen <laughs> i have happened plenty of plenty of plenty of times so for yeah, me it's a nine but a high nine it's fucking close to a ten i think it's just a middle nine middle nine middle eight middle eight well no, like the da 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 loki's good loki is good loki is good it's got richard e grant in it and not doctor who no, not Doctor Who. And not Doctor you, Who. Speaking of Doctor Who, Who, nothing to do with Doctor Who. What if the first animated show, oh. taken from the um, the long-standing anthology comics series. series of the same name, mm. in which you get a story? It's like, what if this happened? And you know, it never normally links in with anything. It's not got continuity. What if, what if Iron Man had a wooden armor? What if, what if he was Woodman? What if he was Woodman? But uh, uh, normally, nine times out of ten, always has a really shit ending. Like, and then the world is brought about like to its end, except for when Jessica Spider-Man Jones ends watches. up marries ends up marrying um, Steve Rogers in one of them. She just has a nice yeah. life. Oh, and then she deserves it. She's been through some shit. Um, <laughs> with this, I like the concept. I think the the um, using um, what if Captain Carter was the was the uh, first Pilot Avenger episode. one yeah. was sort of almost an encapsulation of this is what it is, this is what the formula could be. I think it kind of loses a lot of that in the fact of oh, we need to have continuity in a finale, so it's going to be you know the Guardians of the Multiverse stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. My favorite episode from season one is um, what if Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his hands? Oh boy, I think that's everyone. <laughs> I like the two. I like um, what if T'Challa was a Star Lord. Mm-hmm. Um, I quite liked the four comedy one episode seven. What if? Oh, what if four was a bad bad brother bad, bad boy? boy. What, if it, <laughs> what if four was a big bad four, boy? Yeah. Um, I think it was episode seven. I can't think of the title though. Right, so we'll look at this. So we've got season two. We've got season uh, one. Yeah. Uh, what if Captain Carter were the first Avenger? Yeah, yeah. like that. Safe but great. Yes. Safe. Charlotte Star Lord was wonderful. What if the world lost its mightiest heroes? When that Hank, was, when yeah. Hank Pym kills everyone. That's yeah. Like, Avengers gone rogue. I like the mini thing of like, oh, Tony Stark dies in each episode. Of, yeah. Like, ah, spoilers. Like, oh, you want to see him do well? Nope. Hell no. Zombies um, as a concept because mm. Marvel Zombies has been a thing for a long time and it's now, you know, getting a pseudo spin off in terms of. Which I of, think is inspired from this episode. But you, you, yeah, yeah. Same visual style might not mm. necessarily be the same lead universe. In. Yeah, it won't lead in. Judging yeah. by characters they said are involved because some of them I think were confirmed to be dead. Um, we get, you know, Paul Rudd fucking head in a jar, floating with a cape on. We get, yeah, you know. Lovely. I mean, these are the last performances we get of fucking Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa Black Panther, so that's yeah. always good. Um, I mean, in good in theory, in terms of some of the stuff, it's like, I just think the execution and the stuff with zombies is like, oh, it's it's not really... Not really it, my it, bad. Is every single comic going to be the same? Kill Ma- the Killmonger one was a bit of a sort of... Uh, that was okay, yeah. That, it didn't break no ground to me. That and was he just fine. kills Tony in the end anyway. And then it was nice to have war. Andy Serkis back in it, though. But it kind of plays him well to the um the, the parallel with his thoughts in Black Panther. In yeah, 20, in of course. Yeah. You know, yeah. The fact that his point is valid and is totally correct, but his way of doing it is it's the just the wrong the way. Madness. Yeah. yeah. Um, what if Thor what if, oh, is that like what if Thor were only child? Yeah, it's basically Chris Hemsworth acting like a comedian and acting like an evil, well, not evil, he was just it's acting Chris like Hemsworth a complete irresponsible adult. Acts like the guy that he plays in uh, Ghostbusters Answer the Call. 
Yeah, Kevin, except with more pecs and longer hair. More pecs hair. Oh, peck hair. hair. Yeah. Uh, what if Ultron won? Uh, yeah, because That's this is a pseudo like two part yeah. thing. And then what if the Watcher broke his oath? Fine, but then the way that ends, it's like, oh, sure. <laughs> Why not? Season two. Because we did lose an episode of that, which gets recycled into, into season, season two, two, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, which I think is a great shame because one of the characters from um, the ninth episode is just oh here's the guys yeah. from this episode that you've not seen yet. He, yeah, yeah. Um, the fact that you know the amount of people we had return from the movies the to film voice universe. them because hmm. I like that you know the thing of most of the time it will be the same people apart from the obvious ones in terms of like um, Scarlett Johansson was gone. Scarlett Johansson, Tom Holland, um, Chris Evans, and Robert Downey Jr. Yes. are some genuine emissions. I like the sort of halfwayness. Between um, I don't think Ruffalo's Nick... um, Hulk looking yeah. closer, so it was in between Norton and Ruffalo in mm. the Incredible Hulk portions of the stories. I like but Nick then Wonger's they... Iron Man's impression. I think quite he good. was too... And yeah. I think the guy that done Steve was quite good as well. Um, and I like... Well, sorry, I don't like... I think that they should have kind of tried to go for an in-between for Rhodey as well. Mm. Like, make mm. him sort of like... In that first one, you could have had a um, <clears throat> sort of... What's his name? Terence Howard um, yes. and Don Cheadle. Cheadle in between. Yeah, yeah. possibly. Now, this is going to be fun, season two, because you've got no fucking idea. No, I've, I've watched maybe two episodes. And not out of spite, yeah, I just really didn't know, watch them. You, also, you don't really know what they're called, so that's more, more of the fun. What, 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 what if the Watcher wasn't watching? What if Nebula yeah, I've, so I've seen that one. <laughs> that's decent. Yeah, I've seen that one. Because <laughs> um, I've kind of watched these all in like an afternoon, and I did kind of fall asleep by the end of them, but I got the gist of it. It was Christmas 2023, that's right. And I was going to commit to it, and I just didn't. And then you just went, eh, Christmas, bye boy. Yeah. Uh, what if Peter Quill attacked us, Mightiest Hero? I saw that one. Yeah, the I, I like stuff. that one. Yeah, I like different. One. Different. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, I couldn't say that. But what if Happy Hogan saved Christmas? The Die Hard. The Die Hard one. Episodes. That was I've probably not... one of my favourites. That's where I got up to. <laughs> I need where, to watch that where one. Where you get... Um, yeah, Happy Hogan slash the freak in terms of a purple version of the Hulk when he accidentally gets injected with it. That's quite funny. Right, okay. I even get Ross Mock on back. That's quite good. Uh, uh, the Iron Man great get, uh, crashed into the Grandmaster, so that's oh. the Sakaar stuff. Yeah, oh, cool. Yeah, okay. What if Captain America fought Captain Carter? Sorry, fought the Hydra Stomper. So that picks up from a post credit scene so from this, season one. Reading that Cynthia McWilliams was Gamora, is this the episode that was cut? Yes, for her and her origin that was then shoved into the Guardians of the Multiverse from season one. Is yes, so this is this is that episode. This is the yeah. Sakas. This is basically all of that. Mm. Um, you get um, the Captain America Winter Soldier follow up episode to the first yeah. Avenger episode because that's the yeah. kind of thing she's back in her own time and there's a lot of time and multiverse jumping and there's stuff a lot like of that. Time. What happened to time? Well, yeah, because they said in Black Widow back to somewhere where they lost their Black Widow, don't they? And things like that, because Ooh. Black Widow was the only one left alive with Hawkeye in that What If Ultron 1 universe. Oh my god, yeah, that was right, yeah. Yeah, that was right. Um, I mean, without jumping ahead, because I'm not trying to spoil it for myself or read the plot, but I'm reading Elizabeth Olsen's book. What on earth... Wanda Berlin. Oh, it's it's what a thing. What on earth is that? It's a. I don't want to know, but I want to know. <laughs> it's a thing because it's all it's alternate. So it's yeah, well, um, of course it's definitely not six one six. It's a whole load of con like conjoined universes and stuff like that. So you might uh, see uh, multiple versions of some characters. Maybe the uh, first okay, the first original hero in a in a very long oh, time. Kahori, what yes. if Kahori reshaped the world? Um, colonial American stuff, which kind of in a way, sort of pseudo-links to stuff that we will see more of in Echo. Right, yeah. Um, okay. What if Hela found the Ten Rings? Shang-Chi episode. That one I look forward to. Was it Was it good? Simu Lao wasn't in Shang-Chi. No. Was Shang-Chi in it? I mean, it's a Shang-Chi. How could he not be in it? I don't think he is. Ten Rings. Oh, that's a um, shame. What if the Avengers 1602, are 16 I've heard a lot about that comic... Elizabeth and Earth in universe. Yeah, it was yeah. Kind of, it's all over the place. That's fun. Um, like the Robin Hood stuff. Rogers Hood? Yeah, it was Rogers Hood. Mm, okay. So it kind of almost like the universe. I mean, what a wonderful image. Kind of converge and then yeah. um, stuff happens. Uh, what if Strange Supreme like, intervened? Ooh, evil Doctor Strange is you coming back Stanley evil, Pucci though? is back as yeah. Stan. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, Black the Pan oh my God, Black, yeah. Black Panther Killmonger. And oh. stuff like that. That's it's I'm all really not trying to read it. It's but... all very forgettable because I've only watched them once. 
But some oh, of it well. was good. I'd say season one is definitely better. <laughs> oh, the, damn. But the continuity stuff is definitely what hampers it. Is there more things that link from season one? To, or are they all standalone? It's the more part? standalone, Maybe which I think works. But there's also mm. then the continuity stuff of like the Killmonger thing. Like yeah. Peggy for, following on from where she leaves. in The, the multiverse. Do they kind of assemble again in the finale? But not exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> more or less but, yeah but no yeah. i'd say this is a this is a six and that's me being at my possible kindest so really it's a four it's a four oh god no fun because four.